Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple CRM system inside Notion. For anyone who doesn't know, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management, and it's a tool that's used to manage all of your company's interactions and relationships with your customers. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna hop on over into Notion. I'm gonna start with a blank page. I'm gonna call it CRM, add an icon. I'm gonna add this blue user three icon. I'm gonna add a cover. Here's a cover, something like a database. Yeah, I like that old school kind of database. That's cool. And this is gonna be really simple. It's gonna be just like three tables. So we're going to add backslash database inline. I'm going to call this one contacts. And this will serve as our pipeline. I'm also going to come over here in the top right and hit full width. I just, I always forget to do that. And then down over here, I'm going to hit another database and I'm gonna call this company. And the reason I'm separating it out is just so that like a single CRM database entry doesn't have like a million fields that you need to fill out. You know what I mean? Otherwise you're just gonna, you'll see it when we're going through it, it's just gonna be a mess and like annoying and you're not gonna wanna do it. So really like this is more than halfway there already so we're going to start by adding a status i'm going to change this to prospect in progress we'll change to lead and then in the completed section i'm just going to make one and then i'm going to add one for lost and we're going to change that to red this is a really basic pipeline set up you may want to have different properties depending on your company but if you've never set up a crm before this is just like the general flow for a pipeline so we're going to just leave it like that i'm going to change this table to board view we're going to group by status and we're going to show all i don't know why the lost is on the sort by mail cool move that over move that over i'm just gonna call this pipeline i like the kanban style board move that over delete that one i just made by accident cool and we've got contact one contact two contact three great Sweet, already looking really good right now. And now we're just gonna add a lot more fields to our contacts. So when you're setting up a CRM, you really wanna think about like, what is the info that you need on this person? So we're gonna get their email address. We're gonna get probably a phone number. We're gonna get, let's see, probably a website. I'm gonna quickly change that to say website. I am also going to add a field for their address, like their mailing address. Because when you're sending out a campaign, you might do like a direct mail campaign and it's important to have your client's uh, mailing address. And then we're gonna add a relation field, which if you saw my project setup, then you know how this works. It's basically gonna link these two databases together. So I'm gonna select company, show on company, and then add relation. Let me see if there's a building icon. Eh, that'll work. So this is a prospective client. You've got their status as a lead, any tags, info you might, know like need about them the industry that they're in any anything like that can go in here their email address phone number website address the company they work for let's add in a number field we'll call this 
like estimated I can't spell value and then the number format we'll do in US dollar and we'll change that to like a money icon or something like that there we go and that way now we have a bunch of fields and we can quickly get a look at our leads our clients and just say like okay how much is this person worth like you know what is their information maybe we can also add in like a date for like last contacted that way you can also keep track of when you've reached out and it'll give you like kind of a signal you can set a reminder with a date so like let's say you last contacted them this week you can set a reminder on another date field you could call it next contact now yeah, what do I call it um, but, 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 but. follow up great so you last reached out to them on April 3rd we'll say like in two weeks we want to follow up and set a reminder that way now when that follow-up date approaches you'll get a notification in your notion inbox up here and on your phone or wherever else you've linked notion to and that's it that's your basic client database and pipeline i'm going to keep the table view because i think it's nice to just like have a table view of all of your prospective leads and then you can filter and sort by like status or any of these other fields that we've uh set up already and then you know last part is we're going to come down to this company section and we're going to basically do the same thing i'm going to delete the tags column but company name the contacts at the company i'm going to edit the property just so it's like uh that person group icon looks nicer that way i'm going to also add a property for address and website company address company website that's pretty much it that's like all all we really need for the company section we don't need to get too crazy hit down here but this just helps us separate like people from companies and avoid needing to add a whole bunch of information all in just one single entry or one single table and then oh something else i forgot to do let's say that you want a client and now you're initiating a project with them what we can also do if you saw the project and task management setup video that i just posted then we can add a relation and you can see the projects page and the projects database that we set up we can also link this database to that one and so it's really cool so now when you go to your projects you'll see um you'll see the contacts or the person that you're working on the project for. And that is really cool. So we've added that the clients won. This is like a prospective project that we're working on with them. And then if you go to your projects page, you can see the contacts have been added here. We'll edit that property to be the people icon again. Uh, yeah contact one go back to our crm now contact one we can see is related to project one and there you have it guys that is the basic crm system now i know there are definitely a lot of better and more specific tailored like systems out there that you can purchase and use as your crm but when you're just getting started notion is free so that's why I recommend setting up a simple CRM system like this inside Notion when you're first getting started and you're first getting clients.
Okay guys, and that's the video. You can download this template for free in the description below. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe, show some love to the channel. I appreciate you, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.